them yet. Uh, Nigma fans are very familiar with us, Cass, or not you, I guess. You had done two series yesterday, I believe. That's right. They're real fans. We have a Wraith Fire Blast to start things out into an Impale, into a Cookie, and that is going to be more than enough. See if they get the first blood to Armel. He wants it, and he'll get it. The Fairy Fire was expended to try to trick them into giving it to somebody else, but the mid laner does, in fact. That's what it sounds like. But then GH just goes out and gets another kill. I mean, GH is playing pretty greedy in terms of the items. He hasn't gotten boots yet, just going straight for that Atos. What are your thoughts on that? Pretty cool. Oh, bot lane. That's Boomy. top. Their top lane, sure. That's the Cinderinism. The other bot lane. <laughs> well, if it's flipped, it's bot. <laughs> it's Wraith Fireblast. He's going to try to position himself so he takes a little bit less damage thanks to that passive, but TNC gets the better of him here. ILTW and GH teaming up on Bach again. This will be such a big kill. It looks like they're going to at least find one from TNC's side. But again, Bach drops, and he is... Struggles. I mean, he has 27 last hits, which looks good, but a lot of those are jungle creeps, which are going to be worth less. And like uh, the, uh, just a rough start. Like we're seeing the... Oh, oh. my. That was, yeah, that was the roar into a couple axes here. Into the coil and TP support with the cookie. Oh, my God. That was... The creep was looking the wrong way. That is very unfortunate. And the oh, axes no. actually get the kill. Miracle. Oh, no. TNC. Boomy will get the trade at least. And GH, yeah, the Arcane Bolt will net himself the kill. He's turning into a carry himself right now. Oh boy, that kid already. That. So he is going to have a very, very good timing. And we're going to see a coil from Armel into the jungle. Looks like they'll find Kuroki at the very least. But here comes ILTW with a double Chronosphere. GH is not level 6 yet, but they probably have enough damage, especially with that bash from ILTW. Tim's still level 5, and he's pretty tanky as this, as this Nyx Assassin. And now Bach waddling his way over. Not really able to provide too much damage, though. Mystic Flare to come out again with the Tomato trying to block. So Kuroki from the Grave still doing nice micro work. And it'll actually die of its own accord. Mega a broken mechanic with the extra damage that used to be applied. Oh, the thing I see here is if Miracle does not... Oh, he's going to get jumped here. Yep. Solo Coil, though, into the Snapfire. Oh, he's going to try to reposition himself, but ends up getting the break on the Coil. And nice silence from Armel should ensure that they'll be able to get this kill. Although, no, Miracle's still staying alive. He gets the Roar off on, onto Armel. And the right clicks from Bach, will that be enough? A nice Chronosphere onto two. They're going to be able to get Armel as well as potentially another kill onto Boomy. Nice rotation by ILTW. I cannot believe Miracle has lived through this. And now Viper completely surrounded. No kill for Miracle that time, but he does survive and they get a bunch of kills. Outplayed. TNC are kind of positioned to. Never mind. All right, that's the Aegis for Miracle. They're just going to go high ground. ILTW does have the Chronosphere available, but it looks like Kuroki's going to get picked up to start this fight. Mystic Flare, though, to try to counteract this. Looks like we'll get a trade for the Nyx Assassin, but the Chronosphere only onto one hero. But it is the Wraith King, and he does not have mana right now. If they can find a little bit more damage, they can take him out. But Bach, in the meantime, gets his Viper Strike off just before dying. So it's a two for three, if you don't include that ult from the Wraith King. Does have enough mana, pops that wand. And now he's at full HP, so ILTW might have to question his decision here. The Snapfire Cookie as well. Triple kill for Armel, making a great comeback in this fight. Despite the Aghanims being online for Miracle, the longer these fights go, the more damage he does. Look at these axes. Do they have enough to actually take him out? He finally gets to come with an ultra kill for Armel. The one hero they can't kill is Puck, and he's going ham right now. Fortunately for GH, no, they're still poor. But it is, it is decent value, right? You also get the reduced Hawk cooldown, which is just... Yeah. The higher level of play, the better that is mm -hmm. because of how much you can take advantage of vision. Mind control. Oh, he missed. Blinks into the dust. Tim's will get caught out inside the arena. Mystic Flare finishes him off. And Kuroki actually gets the last hit technically. Snapfire tries to cookie out. Boomy should be okay. It just feels like TNC are just on the back foot right now. Mind control and company are just keeping the pressure on. Spear. Doesn't look like he'll be able to find anything else here, although GH gets caught out. So Armel's really made a nice comeback, especially after the last fight getting the ultra kill. GH was really uncharacteristically out of position there. All right, Coil on the tankiest hero in the game right now, but he is surrounded, so Kuroki will fall. The TNC getting a little bit of momentum on their side, perhaps. Oh, Miracle. This would be a big pick. This would be huge. He is the top net worth in the game, but Mind Control is going to find a potential pick with the Mystic Flare combination. Gabby, that's his first life. Remember, he does have ratings. We'll see how much Armel and company can do here. Roar expended onto the Wraith game. If they can get this kill, this is enormous. Chronosphere only on a one, but it's the Nyx Assassin. Oh, Snapfire out to follow. They're doing quite a bit of damage. They lose the Mars. Buyback onto GH as well. Can Void get out of here is the question. LTW cannot get to the high ground. Has to pop his BKB. Stand his ground, but... There's no ground to stand on anymore. He drops. 
And this fight for TNC going very well despite losing the Wraith King. Now the next hero on the list is the Beastmaster Miracle who drops. Bach is just doing work right now. Kuroki not doing that much damage because everybody's so close to him. The Snapfire Cookie's not going to save anybody, so they do find the Viper in the end. GH misses the Atos, hits one of those annoying skeletons at Kuroki with a double kill randomly. That was a strange fight, but TNC obviously came out on something on else. Hmm, I'm trying to think of what the best thing they could get would be. Take your time. Yeah, it takes some time. Miracle, he gets the initiation off. Onto the Wraith King. We've talked about this again, how they probably shouldn't be using all this onto him, but not that much expended, really. They still have Mars ult. Gabby pops the BKB, though. See if Team Nigma wants to reset. There's the initiation from ILTW onto two. Nyx Assassin, they see him. That's the newly picked up Agnum Scepter, but the Mystic Flare is just way too much damage. Bop picks up his, or pops his newly picked up BKB as well, but that's a double kill for ILTW. Look oh, at the he patience. Got him. Beautiful Mars ult. Armel gets off the phase shift. They lose her orb to follow. Looks like he will be able to get out in a coil to help finish off that pesky Mars as well. So now it turns into a three versus four in favor of Team Nigma still. I love the patience though for Mind Control, but not able to find that kill on Puck. Yeah, that was really good. They, they were lacking just a little bit Gabby of Puck. Three seconds on his own. Yeah, Two. very close. Oh. Oh. oh dear. He does have shards, so the mana burn doesn't really matter anymore for those purposes at least. He was not. Everyone in chat right now is literally spelling out what they sound like. Okay. Oh, we're going to have the roar come out from Miracle. And it seems oh, to be man. that, that you know, Boomy has just found his way on the other side of this so many times now. Looks like they still want to fight. He's going to buy back into the game. Kuroki looks like he falls right away. Mind Control's going to pop the BKB, gets that Mars ult off, but Bok's just going to walk out of his own accord. ILTW looks like he is just resetting completely. Coil onto one. Tim's, he's in his form right now in the burrow. Chronosphere onto a couple of heroes, including that Nyx Assassin, the Mystic Flare, like we talked about. Just not enough damage mitigation for him. He's going to buy back into the game, though. This just is now a 4v5, technically speaking. As the cheese is popping ILTW, do they have the damage to finish him off? Looks like they do not wait. There's the arm now coming with the burst damage. That is enough. No buyback for ILTW. TNC, they get the kills that did require buybacks, but now Roche is up. That's this a, is a big deal. That's a dieback from Kuro. Locked boots Refra of travel, treads, or face boots. It's just so damn good right now. That's true. So And Gabby's actually holding the refresher shard, so probably will pop that in for his BKB when he uses it. Yep. Gabby's going to initiate with that nullifier. Looks like it's going to be used against the Aeon Desk, and GH is just dead at the beginning of the fight. Coil onto Miracle. It's the buyback onto GH now. There's the roar. Again, it's on oh, the Wraith snapped. King. Oh, nice impale from afar, thanks to that Aghanim Scepter on Nyx Assassin. And it looks like that is going to be the fight for TNC big time, despite the buyback coming out. But GH, can he get this kill? He will! He does get Armel in the end, despite being completely outnumbered. Now, keep in mind that buybacks are still there for Nigma. See if they want to use these to try to turn things around. ILTW, not able to get much off here as Gabby will actually pop the refresher shard be able to get his ult back as there's a double buyback they're teeping into the shrine as well but looks like gh takes a tumble already with that nullifier usage iltw going hand with the agnum scepter onto boom right now they're trying to kite gabby as much as possible but these spider legs are coming into handy big time it's two buybacks now for tnc there's a nullifier again onto iltw who has absolutely no mana whatsoever trying to get slow onto gabby trying to kite this guy just one shots that boar now kuroki very tanky on the run. It's still five versus three, despite all these buybacks coming in. A couple right clicks will suffice, and it looks like Kuroki finds his way to the grave. They do get the snap fire, though. Just trying to be as annoying as possible. I mean, this is buying time for Miracle to come back in 20 seconds. ILTW continuing to be an annoying presence. Gabby just has so many lives, it feels like, as there's a spear into the Ancient, but the damage is still being applied. Gabby is just focusing on the Ancient completely. Mars ult comes out. He's just going to spider legs and right click it down at TNC takes game one. My goodness. Depends this on the was amount of farm that you get, and you will get a lot from... It's not the perfect empower hero, but they go with the... Okay, this is completely out of the left field. Let's completely shut down. Uh, so it will we'll be Armel mid on the, the left track versus Invoker's top line. We're going to have a little bit of action. The Bramble, nice rotation from GH. This is going to be an early first blood for Nigma. They're going to try to give it to ILTW, and they will be successful. So... First blood for the bear man. So they're trialing the offlane knife. Daedalus, something like that. Yeah, it'll be a similar build, I think. Um, I will say though that I don't, I don't think Carry Magnus fares particularly well against Ursa. Mm -hmm. I, 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 oh, mind control. All right. That's a lot of damage with that impetus, and the skewer will finish him off. But they do get the pango before then. Yeah. Good trade for two v three. 
I think. Um, well, he'll take the haste rune. Has uh, one skill of each, so has the combo that he really needs. Going to get the Cursed Crown Bramble as well with the Tornado setting everything up. And Lashrak taking so much damage. Can they get the kill, though, is the question. The Shadow Realm is indeed enough. The impetus! Oh, the smoke! Disjoints it. I'm not sure if it missed in the meantime, but either way, the smoke putting to good use for GH. In the meantime, Swashbuckle on the side. Kuroki getting chased by Tim's. Now that Orb of Venom coming in handy, Cinderman. Double kill for GH, though. Does he get the Enchantress kill as well? Roshan, will he? No, he's, he's not interested in fighting today. I think Kuro actually blocked off Rosh. GH, the only Zoken. reason he knows to chase there is because they have a deep vision. And they had perfect spell casting. They waited for everything to land, and then they tornadoed for the finish. That's exactly what they needed to do. Right. Kuro's in trouble. Yep, kinetic field, but Bach is able to right-click from beyond here. There is TP from Mars in the first arena of the game, and they do take out the Disruptor easily, but Mind Control gets the bigger kill on the position 3 Viper. Kuro's like, now that's farm a little bit faster than the Miracle, unless he gets ganked here again. I mean, Nigma are being very active in terms of trying to gank these heroes, and looks like they're going to apply their pressure to, to Pangolier. Does have his ult, but not really able to get it off here. In the meantime, Armel doesn't really have any mana to work with, but the right clicks will suffice as GH is the trade again. Just feels like Nigma are getting the first the Roche of the game is at 958. So I think you're right. Maybe there will be an Agon of Scepter Roche at some point. Miracle gets a Tornado EMP combo with that spear setup, and that is a very, very fast kill on Taboomi. But here's the Mars ult. Tim's with that Rolling Thunder. They can get Miracle. He goes to the down. long round as a result of that, but they'll find the kill it regardless. It didn't matter. So it didn't matter as Cinder is being excited for absolutely no reason. And now the question is, can TNC continue on here? No. Okay, thank you. Well, RP is available, but obviously no Blink Dagger yet. And it is a very strong duo. They set each other up very well. The Cursed Crown sits up nicely for the combo, and so does Tornado MP. Spear. Ooh, glimpse into the spear. Sunstrike to follow. Kinetic kill, Static Storm combination is there, but Mind Control trying to walk away as the damage from Lesh Track is so much, but the Lesh drops, and the trade is for the Disruptor. So Gabby and Bach trying to team up to take out GH. It looks like they'll be successful at that at the very least. And now that their whole team is here, whoa! And RP onto nothing. I don't think Nigma saw that. But that is uh, that brings memories of that Chronosphere we saw earlier. Yeah, he watched PSG LGD earlier. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a new meta thing today, the Major. You, you throw your ulties oh. away for a win. Yeah. Not enough damage from Tim's that time around. Would come in. I mean um, I don't even know if the Sunstrike connected. If it did, it did almost no damage. His level 1 Exhort. It, it's something. He just wanted a little assist there. But there's, see the glimpse again, Static Storm. Mars ult to fall, and my god, they can just kill him without even having to commit their bodies at all. And that is the, the position 1 Magnus, keep in mind. GH dodges the Swashbuckle. Tim's able to get the kill regardless, though. And again, these 1 for 1 trades, Nigma are getting the, the core heroes. So typically. active here. Invis right now. Just out of range, so they can't actually feel the cold the cold weather, as it were, Cinderin. He's cured up a Midas after his vessel, so he yeah. has a plan for oh, how to get rich control. later. Again, the vision from Miracle sets this up to start with. Spirit Vessel applied. Oh, the RP. Gabby finds Miracle. This will be a pretty big kill. Looks like they're going to get it. And Boomy has come to play as well. The Glimpse not oh, really going to have much of an effect, and now the Static Storm has to be used for Kuroki to try to get it defensively, but it's not going to be successful. So a two for nothing. And despite having the vision advantage there, Nigma coming out on the losing end of this this fight. That's a double kill for Gabby as mind control ends up dropping. I would love if we could see a replay of that. So basically what happens is that they drop their spells, but uh, Miracle... So considering you have empowered the whole game, a 700 gold lead is not that much. But as is always the case with carry Magnus, it's about hitting oh, that big combo. Control. Oh, oh, nice, nice you yeah. Dodging the spear, but there's a static storm combo to find him. And yeah, it doesn't really matter. Although the Viper Strike to try to counteract this. This is a dead no bear. No Aegis or anything. Yeah, the bear looks quite dead. So it'll be position two for position one. And I think TNC will definitely take that. Yeah, Decent I mean, they're left for this. Although now that Mind Control is heading towards that top area of his jungle. Oh, this could be a good skewer. Yeah, we'll see. Mind Control, he's thinking that they might be in Rosh. But he's already used his Blink Dagger. And there's the RP just on one. Oh, he's they'll dead. take it. He doesn't have buyback. That's yep. pretty big. They don't know this, of course, but this could potentially free up Roche for them. Yeah, their lineup's not particularly good at killing yes, it, it's though. It's very bad, in fact. But Tim's gets the Rolling Thunder off. They want to focus on Kuroki, and they're going to get him pretty easily. So two kills right off the bat for TNC. And I believe that 
GH is going to be next. That's a triple kill for Armel, who's come back with a vengeance. Might have a buyback that's going to be on Kuroki. LTW has to use that BKB charge. It's crazy how much better you can be at the game than your brother, right? Like, <laughs> here we go again. Yeah, it's, it's the same blood. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, glimpse back. Can they burst him down? The static storm, kinetic field combo again. And yes, the pango is done, though. Tier 1 tower is about to fall as well. ILTW, I believe he popped the cheese there, trying to go ham onto Gabby. Oh, Into that's the good. Cataclysm. It's going to clip Gabby, but it's not enough for the kill. Spear Vessel applied as well, but now Nigma on the run. I mean, they are completely outnumbered. We see a Mars ult being used to take out Magnus. He'll be successful in doing so. Ursa. Buyback now to Ursa. This is a huge buyback. If TNC can get out, this is a dead even game in terms of net worth. Four staff not quite going to get Armel into the high ground. Boomy might be the sacrifice. And again, I think TNC will be very happy with that, but maybe the Viper instead. So, oh, Boomy does get taken out. And yeah, they're going to get at least two kills here for Nigma. Straight so to something, Roshan. Yeah, and the Roshan is the reason for this buyback. That was still honestly good idea what's going on right now based on their map position. They're all hidden in base. Enchantress oh. is kind of peeking out. Oh, that is... Yeah, Mind Control shows himself. Doesn't look like they want to initiate on him, though. They this did that before. Boomy really tries weird. to get out of the kinetic field, but it's not to be. ILTW just rips him apart. I think if Gabby was fast there, he could have actually caught Mind Control. He ran under the tower for like two seconds yeah, before he, he blinked. Yeah, could have blinked. That was a blink Ursa. Yeah. I kind of would have liked maybe a Halberd. Yeah, Halberd went really good as Gabby gets the RP off. Armel with the BKB split Earth combo, and they take him out two minutes. No ILTW. Mind Control puts down his Mars ult, but it's really to no avail. And just the AoE damage from Armel is crazy. Nice. Yule's dodging a lot of Miracle spells, but there's the Refresher Shard used in, in conjunction with that Sunstrike combination. Gabby with a triple kill, though, and this is way too much damage for Nigma to deal with. The Cataclysm wasn't enough. It felt like kind of a panic. Have to use it while we can, but like if the I don't have travels, I can't connect to the fight anyway. You don't have the enemy outpost here, for example, right? As yeah. Nigma, oh, so. Boy. All right, Nigma need to find something here. Mind control gets the arena off, but he doesn't find anybody in the four step under the high ground. But looks like GH will be able to have the damage to take out Boomy at the very least. But buys back into the game now. Now no more is arena. Tim's doing work with that rolling thunder. Actually finds. The Ursa in the meantime just rolls right into him. This is going to be a huge kill inside that Nether Toxin. Pops his old RP onto one Cataclysm to follow, though. It's not going to do that much damage. ILTW is pretty healthy for now, but remember, he does not have buyback whatsoever. Terrorize onto a couple heroes. GH trying to do as much as he can as Mind Control spears somebody into the cliff. And the chase is continuing. Gabby skewers Ursa basically all alone, being bursted down, eats the cheese, which he still had, but it doesn't matter. More than enough damage for TNC, as it looks like they're going to take this series two to zero. And this, again, in the last three minutes, this game has gone from down, what, 10K to up 20 for TNC. Unreal. Now, I think the biggest lead Nigma ever had in this game was 5K, and they just lost 25K in the last three minutes. That's just that one moment. That sometimes that's all it takes. And Nigma obviously had options there. They could have cut their Ursa, right? They could have let him die.